Hello everyone, Neil from Merch Informer here. In the last video, we went over the Merch Hunter, a little bit how to use that, and today I want to go over the Merch Tracker and how that can be used to look at your designs or look at your competitors' designs kind of over time and how they are ranking for specific keywords. So when you first log in, you're going to see the dashboard over here. The Merch Tracker is all the way at the bottom. You're going to want to click that. What the Merch Tracker is going to allow you to do is grab an ASIN and then track that ASIN over time for both BSR, price, and keywords. So the way this is going to work is let's say you're on Amazon. And you know for this we're going to want to be in the clothing, shoes, and jewelry category. So from this little drop down right here, simply click that and pick that category. And for this example, let's just use glamping as an example. So say you're on Amazon, you're typing in glamping shirt, hit go, you're going to see the results here. Now just looking through here, you know, you're like, oh, this is a great one. Maybe this is even your shirt. So you'd come over here, you'd click this, you'd see the shirt, you'd see all the information, you'd come down to the little product description box, where this is going to show the BSR and the ASIN. You're simply going to want to copy the ASIN and bring that over back into the Merch Tracker. Now, if you're doing research, you can actually pull these ASINs from the product search, from the Merch Hunter, from the brand search even. But enter in the ASIN and click Save. You're going to see it was added below here. Now, if you are looking at the price and the BSR, maybe this is your shirt and you're going to run a marketing campaign. You're going to want to track how the shirt is doing over time, or perhaps this is a competitor, so you're wondering, okay, are they going to raise prices in the future? You're not sure. You want to track it. Simply click the little history button here, and you're going to see a graph that looks similar to this. Now you're going to have the shirt here. The ASIN is going to be on the right-hand side, and you only see there's one bullet point because we just added it. Every single day, there's going to be another bullet point added. So we update this once every 24 hours, and if you have the shirt in there for a while, it's going to create a graph. But this will allow you to look at the BSR, how it drops, how it increases, as well as the price. So the really cool thing about this is that you can look at keywords and see where this specific shirt is ranking on Amazon. So coming back to this page, if you come back here, you'll notice that for you know glamping shirt, it's ranking third, yes. So if you were to take this keyword and you'll see a key a details column, simply click the details column and you're going to see a spot for keywords on the left hand side here. So we're just going to enter in our keyword, click save, and as you'll see it'll add it into the saved keywords for this shirt. Now as you see it's not tracked yet, so you need to click this little update button. And this, what this is going to do is it's going to go out, look at Amazon, and see, okay, where's this shirt ranking for this specific keyword? So this can you this takes usually a few seconds to get going. So, but there you go, it just completed. You see, it's a successive here, and it says for this keyword is in position three. So if you were to come back over to Amazon, you will notice that yes, this is in position three for this keyword. So with this module, you can track up to 50 ASINs currently and up to 100 keywords. It's super helpful for either tracking your competition that you're trying to beat out, whether you are running a marketing campaign or you're just trying to optimize your listings. If you're optimizing your listings, you can see, okay, I optimized my listing on this date. You can come back here and look where your shirt is ranking and see if that optimization actually had any benefit or maybe... Maybe you, you know, de-optimized your listing and it fell a few places, so you might want to revert changes. Just really good to come in here, either look at your own shirts or look at your competition shirts and see how they're faring over time with either keywords or tracking it via BSR and price. So that about does it for the Merch Tracker. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the other side. Thanks.